Hey, what's up Gomez gang? Here we are doing another percent increase problem where our holes are changing at the end of each cycle. Again, this is one that you guys love to do shortcuts for that do not work. So using a roadmap strategy or a roadmap model during these types of problems is very beneficial. 5,000 people visited a book fair in the first week. So that's 5,000 people first week. The number of visitors increased by 10% each week. So if we start off in week one, with 5,000 visitors, then by the time week two comes around, there's going to be a 10% increase. Again, notice where that arrow is coming from. It is a 10% increase from the 5,000. If it's a 10% increase of the 5,000, you know that there are 500 more visitors this time around. The question asks, how many people visited the book fair in the third week? Third week is the one we're looking at. So week two, we know that there's a 10% increase from week one. This is 110% of week one. When you add the 500, you know that week two has 5,500 visitors. Again, to get to week three's visitor total, there's an increase again of that same 10%. However, this 10% is not 10% of the week one total. It is not 10% of 5,000. It is 10% of week two, which is 10% of 5,500. When you find 10% of 5,500, you get to 550. That is how many more visitors are visiting in week three compared to week two. When you add 5,500 to 5,000, excuse me, to 550, you get to 6,050. That is how many people visited the fair in the third week. In the event that this problem gets a little bit more complicated and it asks you, what was the percent increase from week one to week three? You know, some people might say, hey, if it was a 10% increase here and a 10% increase there, then there must be a 20% increase, right? And we're gonna double check that because the difference between week one and week three were 1,000 and 50 visitors. That 1,050 again is the difference. Now, when you are finding a percent change, whether it's increase or decrease, you are comparing it to the original. In this case, the original was the week one total, which was 5,000. And we need to find out what percent 1,050 is of our whole or our original of 5,000. Now, if you know 20% is the same thing as 20 over 100, which is the same thing as one fifth. Just reasonably speaking, we know that 1,050 is not one fifth of 5,000 because one fifth of 5,000 is, of course, 1,000. So we need to find out how to get from this fraction into an actual percentage. And again, a percent is anything that is out of 100. Per cent is for every 100. In order for me to get from 5,000 to 100, I need to divide by 50. I need to do the same thing for my numerator and divide it by 50. Now, we know that 50 does go into 1,050 a whole number of times. We know that 50 goes into 100 twice, so it must go into 1,020 times because it's 10 times greater. Now that's just to 1,000, I want to get to 1,050, so there has to be 21 groups of 50 in order to get to 1,050. 21 over 100 is equivalent to 21%, so if the question had been asking what is the increase from week 1 to week 3, you can simply say there is a 21% increase. Again, that is not asked in the question, I'm just pushing you a little bit further. Hope that helps. Gomez gang out.